Good morning, ladies. I hope you're having a good day today. Um, May 1st, yay for that. Uh, we made it through April. Hoo-ha, yay, yay. School challenge is over, but get your numbers in. We'd appreciate knowing how many spools you emptied. I did make it to four, but that's all the farther. I have a big cone I use on my one machine, and I didn't empty it, so I felt like I couldn't count any of it because I didn't empty it. Just okay. comment on this video your number. Yeah. Uh, happy mail. Today is from, hmm, Brom Stoker. <laughs> we learn from failure, not from success. And that is very true. That's a good way to do anyway, if you can in life. Learn from what you didn't do right and try to not make that same mistake again. So, spool challenge is over. We just need your numbers. So we'll keep it open for a week. You can either comment on here or you can send us an email, whatever you want to do. Um, somebody asked about retreats and I'll try to clear this up as best I can. Um, so we had an April retreat scheduled. And so those ladies, we had the opportunity to do it in June. And we'll, our, you know, our plans change every day around here. So it's just like the wind or the weather it just changes so but the plan now is to do it in june so that retreat was full so we're just like Moving shifting it over to another one yeah it's not like it's <coughs> even it's not and so we do them um april september december uh, we did have one in february too this year so we'll probably do that one again but it's a little different one but anyway so to the side april september december so we have one scheduled for september that one is full with a waiting list as well. Uh, and then we have one in December. I believe December dates are 6 through 9. We ha have them at the Berlin Grand Hotel in Berlin. Um, we meet Sunday normally. We meet Sunday afternoon, uh, like 3-ish or so, in a big conference room. And we sew together there. It's whatever you want to sew on. Uh, it doesn't You don't even have to sew. If you want to do knitting, crocheting, rug hooking, um just all hand stitching we had a lady bring scrapbook things whatever you want to do it's your time to do what you want to do you can shop you can watch tv when you want to there is a like a fire pit area outside oh that we sometimes gather and sit around and laugh and have fun um it's just a great group of ladies they're not always the same but it's a wonderful time wonderful wonderful uh, someone asked about classes and open sews. We've kind of suspended them to um, open sews when we have them. They're a good time, but we just have a lot of people. And so we're like, we're just going to sew through all of June, none of those things. And then we'll just take July how it goes. We're trying to come up with some creative ways of maybe doing some other things. Um, so hang on. We're, we're trying. Um, we plan to open the store May the 11th, so if you want to join us that day or thereafter, that's on whatever you want to do. Um, the videos we'll probably do like once a week, and we're trying to figure out which day works best with all of our schedules, what we want to do and stuff, so maybe we're kind of looking at Wednesdays, but we'll see. Now we can't go anywhere. Yeah, oh yeah, anyway, so we're going to just wait and see what happens, so... Um, yesterday I told you that today we would probably do a Japanese knot bag. Well, this crazy critter here, when she was figuring fabric, she thought you would need a fourth of a yard. Mm, no, you need a half a yard. So I didn't cut near enough fabric. So I got to redo everything that I did yesterday. So we're going to do something else, shifting gears here. So today we're going to make the plaid sheet pillow, or I'm going to show you how to do it. And I want to show you some things. So this is the pillow done. Because sometimes I think it's nice if you can see something done and then you can see how they got there. So sometimes we, when we're going to go make a pillow, we can't find a form the size we want. Or we have a pillow that we think is really not very nice. And I'm going to tell you this too. This is an envelope backed pillow. You could put a zipper in there if you wanted to too. But this is where the backs overlap. They're more than what you need. And so the pillow just sticks in there. Okay? So I want to show you what we did. Because I think sometimes 
you need to know that you just don't have to use a pillow form. You can use a pillow as your form. So Karen was at a place where she got all these pillows at a really good, like a closeout place where everything was like, you know, 90% off or something. So this was the pillow that I was going to cover. Okay. And this pillow is a 14 by 20 pillow. So, I mean, it's not the world's ugliest pillow, but you know, it's nice to have it framed. So what I did was I knew that my surface that I was going to be covering was 14 by 20. So I added a half inch onto each of my directions I was going to go. And I knew I wanted him to look like a sheep. So I, and this pattern will all be on the website for you too that you can download. And then you can adjust it as you need to for your pillow or your pillow form that you can find. So the gray part is a 10 and a half inch square. I wanted the scallop to be on there and to have a little room beyond. But I also knew that by doing this, if I made this gray be over here, see what happens to the sheep. He kind of disappears because he goes off the edge of the pillow. So I did, these are two and a half inch wide strips that he put on three sides. I didn't want to put it all over here because then you wouldn't see any of the plaid that was there. So I just did it on the two sides so he'd be, so you could kind of see him in there. You can embellish him as much as you want to. I didn't add eyes or anything to him. You could give it a bow, you could give it a bell, you could give it eyes, you can give it a necklace, whatever you want to do with your sheep, you go for it. So these are two and a half, this is ten and a half, and then this just fills out whatever you need for your pillow. Uh, for your backing, I did, I think one was fourteen and a half by twelve and the other one was fourteen by fourteen and a half. So. Um, those are on the pattern as well. You can look at that too. So, and I will try to give you a chart if you want to do envelope backs and you're doing squares. I have a really nice chart that says if your pillow form is 14, what size to cut the two backs so they can overlap and everything is in there nice and neat and tidy for you. So that is the plaid sheep pillow. So there you go, ladies. We will be back in the shop Monday. Um, those of you who are in the Wool Bundle Club, you, sh you should have gotten an email from us today with the pattern and direction in the bundles on there. If you want to see what that pattern is, um, the picture of it is on the website. You can go peek at it from there. The books are still on sale, so if you're waiting for a book, uh, Amy showed you yesterday, well, when you put it in the cart, it will be the right price, but when you go to check out, it will take your percentage off that you need to do. So that's on there as well. Um, Karen is working on writing up the pattern for the window treatment for you, the sheep with the window in there. So, and we'll have those kits available too. And when we do, we'll put them on Facebook as well. So I hope you ladies are doing well and having a good day today. I am grateful for, boy, today's a tough one. I've been sort of, you know, how those, you have those times when you just feel kind of spunky in the day. Um, let's see. I am thankful for. I'm thankful for cats. <laughs> yes, I am. Because she was right there this morning when I woke up. I was laying on my... You don't want to know. But anyway. <laughs> yes. I'm thankful for cats um, and animals. Whatever they are. Whether it's Glenda the donkey. And the donkey and the Sophia are out in the pasture at the store right now. Uh, the sheep are waiting to get shorn. A little clip clip on them. And then they'll be out as well too. So if you're ever coming to the store, especially with little kids, if you bring carrots... Uh, Glenda and Sophia love carrots. Um, Bonnie loves carrots as well. Sally, the sheep, not so much. So Bonnie is sort of the darker of the sheep. And sometimes you have to really look because it's getting harder and harder to tell which is which. So Bonnie is a dark sheep and she likes carrots. Sally, not so much. So they like carrots if you want to come and feed them carrots. So, all right. You guys have a good day and a good weekend. And we'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.